welcome back to Otaku no Video. As always, thank you very much for joining me for my review of the anime Kino's Journey, made back in 2003. This is an anime based on a series of light novels and directed by Ryutaro Nakamura, about whom more in a little bit. This is a completely episodic anime focusing on Kino, who is an interesting individual, a young person exploring the world. And Kino is curious and sympathetic to you know, the, the various people while keeping a reasonable distance from others. Kino's attitude makes perfect sense and makes for an ideal protagonist. Kino's kind of willing to be close but stays separate too, which just really, really works. Now, as an anthology series, each story presents some philosophical idea um, as acted out in society. So Kino will enter a nation for three days, no more, no less, and observe and occasionally get involved in that nation's society. And you see how philosophical ideas and just ideas in general are acted out in that society. Sometimes these societies are more fantasy-ish, sometimes they're more science fiction-ish, uh, and really exact scientific consistency is really not the point in Kino's journey. This is a philosophical anime, and so the point is more to make you think than to try to create a a complete world which has a consistent you know, technological development throughout it. Now it was made in the early 2000s, so budgets were low, and the animation budget clearly isn't enough to make it really, really gorgeous the way some modern anime can be or some earlier anime can be. That said, the animation is simple and effective. Characters are designed to be relatively simple to animate, um, and they're just, they're just very clear and clean, and the animators clearly work to make sure that they can tell the story they need to tell, even with a minimal animation budget. Fortunately, another remarkable thing about Kino's Journey is its color palette. It uses a lot of muted colors, muted greens and browns, a lot of earth tones, actually. But in general, uh, 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 colors that aren't as bright as typical anime, which again is, is nice and a bit of a relief. Um, also, the characters themselves have this soft roundedness to them, which just makes it look distinctive. Now, the direction is clearly Ryutaro Nakamura. If you've seen some of his other works, like Serial Experiments Lane and Ghost Hound, you'll recognize his directing style almost immediately. Sometimes he will pace a scene very slowly and build it up very carefully. Sometimes it's very fast moving. And one thing I love about Nakamura is he's not afraid to be subtle. Sometimes you'll, something will happen, you're not quite sure what's going on until you go back and, and rewatch it. Um, uh, in fact, there's a lot that's left unsaid in Kino's journey, which again makes it interesting and, and worth rewatching and worth thinking about. The music helps that a lot too. It's this lovely lyrical soundtrack that really supports the overall tone of the show. Now, here's the big thing about Kino's journey. This show hurts. It, its ideas run deep, it can become very dramatic, and it presents its ideas with great power. Several stories build with this unrelenting momentum until you're just sort of thrown into an abyss of loneliness or horror or terror or just a, a much more open mind. There are several episodes of Kino's Journey that are just burned into my memory because of how powerfully it presents its ideas and, and as a result, I, I had to think a lot about what I, I felt about those, those various things. That's what I love about Kino's Journey. It is sometimes painful, and it is also eye-opening and brain-opening, which I think is a, is a very good thing. So those are my thoughts on Kino's Journey. The entire thing was uh, licensed and released in America. The box set is generally available for about 25 bucks US, and um, it has been made available streaming at times. Uh, head over to streamsuki.com to see if it is currently streaming in your region. So those are my thoughts on Kino's Journey. Quite an impressive uh, f feat, especially for its time, and certainly a thought-provoking anime. So that's it for me. Thanks for watching.